Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about the TFT ST7735 color display and how it can be connected to the Arduino. So in the previous tutorials I've been showing how to use different types of displays. For example, we use the normal LCD 16 by 2 display. I've also talked about the OLED display, there are even these seven segment displays. But sometimes you may need to have some colored feature that you want to display. So this kind of display comes in a bit handy. So let's have a closer look at it. So this is our display here. I don't know whether you can see the labels properly. Okay, so from here, you can be able to see how we're going to make the connections. This is these displays usually come in various sizes and sometimes might even have a few other pin pins labeled here but these are the general pins that are present in all the displays so in most cases you're going to find you have you said you have a ground pin so that is going to be connected to the ground as usual then you have the vcc this VCC can be connected to the 5 volts because this display has an onboard regulator because the display uses 3.3 volts. So you can connect it to the 5 volts of the Arduino and it will work. However, I usually recommend using the 3.3 volts pinout just to keep it as the best practice. So you have to take note of that for the VCC. Then you have the clock. The clock goes to pin 13 of Arduino board. And then the data pin goes to pin 11. The only thing I have to note about these two pins is that you shouldn't change the configuration of the pins. This one should be clock 13 and the data pin 11. This is because most libraries that have been programmed to run these displays I've programmed the clock and data pin to use pin 13 and 11 Res correspondingly therefore you shouldn't change that configuration otherwise the display may not work then you have the the reset pin you have this DC pin and then the jeep select these ones you can choose any digital pin to connect them and then you have to specify which pins have been connected in the code as I'm going to be showing there. Then you have this backlight pin. However, in this case, we don't usually connect it. We don't usually need the backlight. So we just leave it there. So the main pins will be ground, VCC, clock, data, reset, DC, and chip select. So from there, we can have a close, simple look at the kind of code you are going to be using for this kind of display so before you can be able to write our personal code we have to first test whether the display is really working properly and that is done using the example codes from the library that you are going to be installing so you need to first check whether you have that library in our IDE and do that you simply go to you go to sketches then you go to include library then you go to manage libraries from here you can be able to access all the libraries that you have in your IDE and you simply just look for the other fruit ST7735 library so I'll just type here to simplify the work 77 yeah so this is the library that you want you have to make sure you have this library Adafruit ST7735 and ST7789 library. So if you haven't installed it, make sure it is installed. You can install it from the Adafruit website. I'll put the link in the description for the video so you can check it out. So after installing this, then you can be able to access the examples that you can use to check out our display. And do that. You simply go to file then you go to examples and look for the this library 
Ada Fruit, ST7735 and ST7789 library. Then from here, you can be able to check out using any of these examples here. I always like using the graphics test example. So it's the one I'm going to choose. And then you can see how it is going to display on our screen. So this is our graphics test example that you're going to be using. And maybe one thing I need to emphasize here is that before you can upload your program, you need to make some simple changes here. One, you have to make sure that you specify where you have connected your these pins here, the CS uh, reset and DC pins. Sometimes you may use different pins there, so you make sure you specify. But make sure you don't change the clock and data pins. They have to be on pin 13 and pin 11 of your Arduino board that you're using. Because those ones are programmed within the library. So you shouldn't change their configuration. And then the other things you have to take note of are the different settings for the different sizes of the screens that you're using. So you have to make sure you have to you know the size of the screen that you're using. For example, I'm using a 1.4 inch LCD display. So I'm going to be using this declaration here. So if you're using, for example, if you're using 1.3 inch, you uncomment this and then you comment out this and uncomment this. So you'll be using this declaration. And then the other part that usually confuses is here the in initializer here when you're initializing for example here in this case originally it is for the 1.8 inch FTC screen but in my case I'm using a 1.44 inch so it means this one I'm going to comment it out and then I will go here and uncomment this so it means this is going to be the initialization for the 1.44 inch screen that I'm using so you should take note of that so these ones depend on the size of the screen you're using so if you're using 0 0.96 inch you can comment this then comment this one all the others have to be commented out so the rest of the code after that you just simply upload it and then you check this how it's going to appear on the screen to see if the screen is working so let's upload this one and we have a look at what we are going to get so we now upload the testing code for graphics or the graphics test code and that's what is showing on the display as per now if you choose different figures and shapes So after here, you can be able to see that our display is working properly. And then we can be able to put our personal code. And then even this display or this graphics code is going to help us to give us an idea of how the code is supposed to be arranged. And because most cases when you're going to program, you just simply make a few changes to the code. But generally, most of the code has already been written. So I've written another simple code here. This is a personal code. I want to test the screen using the basic, basic functions. So I will just upload this one and see what it's going to also display. Just showing simple rectangle and triangles and like that. So let's upload this one and also see the display. Choose different figures and shapes. So after 
Dieu est un Dieu de paix.